Okay, so topic number four, Vesper and Valence Bond Theory, and uh, we are talking about now number two, uh, but the B, PF4. So they wanted to talk about the Lewis structures and also what kind of hybrid orbital is out there uh, for the central atom. Okay, so what goes in the center? That's a phosphorus, and the phosphorus, let's find out in the periodic table, that's on the number five. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to draw the Lewis structure, then kind of figuring out the number of electron group, and P means five. You have a five electrons, and then when you have a halogen, which is right here, that's a ligand. Halogen is uh, actually not six. Halogen is seven, so you, they only uh, look for one electron. So halogen is a easy one to figure out uh, to connect, uh, can, has a connectivity. So you have a three fluorine, that means you need three electrons uh, to form three bonds with like this. Right? So they, they have one electron short, fluorine, fluorine is, they are seven, right? Fluorine is seven. They are one electron short one electron, they become like this. So there are three of them, so they're going to use three electrons uh, for that purpose. And when you have a five and you have a three, you have a leftover is a two electrons, and that two electron will pair it up, and that's a one lone pairs. Okay, so you have a one lone pair, three bonds, so that means electron group wise lone pair and the bond they are one lone pair three bonds four electron group okay that's the key information that from the basper theory that we can figure it out from here right right now we can say the geometry electron group geometry wise we are tetrahedral and that's because the 4 means sp3 hybrid. Okay, so this is a go side by side uh, all the time. Okay. So your basic uh, arrangement is uh, tetrahedral. So let's, let me draw the tetrahedral. So this is, uh, I'm drawing the four faces, right? Tetrahedral. It looks like a the four faces, every face is, is a triangle, okay? So it's a, so that's, that's how the looks, structure looks like. And then the, we are going to put where the P goes in the center. And the P, uh, there are lone, one lone pair, so lone pairs typically goes at the top for just the symmetry and the people's choice. And then there are three bonds, one on the plane, one moving out of the plane, moving away from the plane. And then there's an F, there's an F, there's an F. So therefore, P with this, that, and F. F, F with this. Some of you might wonder why and I am just doing fluorine like this. Yes, so we, you actually, strictly speaking, you should put that in. But sometimes it's so uh, wide, uh, commonly used uh, for the fluor, um, fluorine or halogen to form the bond. They just show up, uh, the structure looks like that. But I think to be precisely true, I am going to show all the lone pairs to satisfy the octet rule within this um, uh, molecule, and so that is the shape. So what's my summary here? Uh, PF4, uh, you have geometry-wise, uh, there are four geometry, electron geometry group, tetrahedral, hybridization is sp3, and this is the molecular, molecular shape. Wise. It is called a tri trigonal pyramidal structure, pyramidal shape. Okay. 
So that concludes the, uh, the understanding the shapes and the hybridizations and the electron group geometries and so on of this particular molecule.